Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Roughly 60 million years ago, the colossal titan boa went extinct, sparing humanity of having to coexist alongside 50-foot-long vipers. However, in the late 1950s, a Belgian pilot showed that this may not the be the case. The year was 1959. He may have Colonel found Van Lerde of the Belgian Air Force the was flying Eden. over the Democratic Republic of Congo following a mission. As the colonel returned to Belgium's space in the region, he spotted something very strange on the ground below him. Asking his pilot to turn around and begin flying lower, a serviceman on the plane pulled out a camera and managed to capture the photograph shown on screen. He described a giant snake, close to 50 feet in length, with a head he estimated as being 2 feet by 3 feet in dark green and brown scales. However, the encounter quickly turned more interactive than the colonel ever could have wished for, as the snake reared up to 10 feet in height and attempted to strike at the aircraft as it flew lower relative to the ground. Rami noted a white underbelly, and the pilot quickly began flying higher so as to avoid the reptile getting luckier on a second try. The photo has been authorized as authentic by multiple zoologists, and Rabbi Van Lairde even appeared on an episode of Arthur C. Clarke's Mysterious World to discuss what he saw. Now, the longest snake currently in captivity is only 25 feet long. Interestingly enough, the termite mounds in the photo suggest that the creature may be even larger than the colonel estimated, anywhere up to 200 feet when scaled to their size. As far as what caused the snake to reach this size, it's really anyone's guess. A surviving titan boa, an African rock python with gigantism, or a new species entirely have all been suggested as suspects over the decades. Oh, what do you think of the Congo snake photo? Do you think it's an authentic picture of a giant snake? Or have we all been deceived?